Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Staff Gymnasium for game two of three this week for BCA Sports and the Brockton Lady Boxers. Tonight, it's the Notre Dame Academy Cougars. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Another special broadcast partner tonight, we have Tabor Academy sophomore Alex Gennaros. Freshman. Freshman Alex Gennaros, one of the leaders for the Brockton Lady Boxers last year. Brockton coming off a 63-50 loss against Bishop Feehan. A couple of interesting storylines in that that we'll get to. Elizabeth Williams with it now in a different pair of shoes. And that is notable because last night she only had two points and looked like she was playing injured. Turns out it was only a brand new pair of shoes that hadn't been broken in. Alex, tell us what that can do. Uh, brand new pair of shoes off the rack going into game action. I was texting Liz last night and she was talking about how her shoes actually broke. They weren't even new, they were broke. And they were hurting her feet so she had to put on her sister's shoes. So it wasn't an injury, it was the sister's shoes that might have been a few sizes too small. Probably. The leaders from last night, Annalicia Fernandez, 19 Kelly, points. Kelly. Followed out halfway through the fourth Kelly. quarter, Jade Kelly. Went Show yourself. closely behind with 17 points. And those are the two boxers to watch tonight. Long three, no good for number 34, that is Haley Roberts. It is two to nothing, boxers, 6.53. And a block called on Ellie Hilsebeck. This pass air mailed out of play. Notre Dame takes over. So Alex, all the way through last season, it was the big three. It was Jelani Jackson, Brianna Santos, and yourself. The other two graduated and we said, well, this year, this current year, is going to be Gennaros' time to shine. She's going to take over the Lady Boxers. She's going to put up 30 or 40 points a game. And then you transfer. And we've got the regime change from April Dingwell over to Chris Connolly. I believe you've played for Chris. Yes, I played AAU with Chris. Um, like my first few years of AAU, he coached me. He's a great coach. So we've got a completely new Brockton Boxers program. Annalicia Fernandez, Jade Went, Elizabeth Williams, and Jayla Smith, I believe, the only returning varsity players. And then you've only got a handful that were on the JV team. Other than that, we're all new faces. Jayla Smith takes a three. That one goes high and wide. Good block. Excellent block for Elizabeth Williams. All ball, and it was touched by one of the Cougars. So Brockton takes over. Nailani Montero in for Williams. Back to Montero. Get there, get there, right there. Now Jade Went. As Notre Dame is working the full court press, Jade Went able to break through a couple. Now Jayla Smith in the corner up to Williams. Williams works her way top of the key. Sends it over to Montero, back in for Williams to Fernandez, a little bit too much mustard on it, and Notre Dame takes over. So we've seen you at a few games this year. Definitely. Talk about what keeps you coming back to Staff Gymnasium and how your season's going over at Tabor. Um, obviously, like I love all the girls that I played with last year, and um, coming back to watch them when I don't have um, practices or games myself is always, always fun because Watching them is great, and seeing my friends is great. Um, our season at Tabor is going really good. We have one loss this year. Um, about nine wins, we lost to Worcester Academy in overtime by a buzzer beater three, which was a killer. There's but There's not much you can do about that. Yep, you can't. Oh. Now, a three that went way too long. Jade went with the rebound. 
you see a Fernandez now. Over to Williams. Fernandez down low, Kent creates space. She is able to throw up a shot off the rim, no good. Notre Dame back the other way. Long two, no good. Fernandez oh. with the rebound, kicking it to Jade Wint, who didn't know where it was. Able to regain composure, pick it up, and now Elizabeth Williams for the boxers. 4.20 left in the first quarter. Williams, three, no good. Fernandez grabbing the rebound Ooh. off the back of the rim, no good. Jade went on the other side. Her shot doesn't get to the rim, might have been tipped by one of the Cougars. So we've also seen a lot of players shifting positions this year, Elizabeth Williams being the main one. She was a center for you guys last year, and now she's the starting point guard. Definitely. Liz has, I played with her in AAU this um, fall, and this fall she turned things on and doing her thing now. Last year she was playing very timid and scared, but. Lorenzo and Josilma Montrond are going to come into the game. Lorenzo has quite the shot from beyond the three point line. We're halfway through the first quarter. It's 2 nothing boxers. This could be the first sweep of the season if Brockton can get the victory in this one. The freshman team got their first victory of the year earlier today. The JV team took care of business. So it's Lorenzo, Wint, Fernandez, Montrond, and Williams on the floor for the boxers. For Notre Dame, Kristen Barrett. Ellie Hilsebeck as Fernandez lays it up and in. Go, Kristen. And this is Maria Pache. Pache over to Haley Roberts. Roberts intercepted by Williams. Williams lost it. Out of play off of Notre Dame. Let's take a minute to talk about someone everybody seems to have a good relationship with. The not so newly named athletic <laughs> director, Kevin Cairo, who's the one who nominated you for commentary tonight. Yeah, I, he was my middle school principal for three years I was at South and being able to have him come up here my first year at Brockton High was, was fun because I had that bond with him that you know it was good to have with a teacher that at a new school that I had no idea. So you had him at South? Yes. What if I told you before he was at South, he was a history teacher at East? Way back in the day. <laughs> Is that 2005? Wow. He started at East in 98. He was my middle school history teacher. We like to remind him of that fact every once in a while. <laughs> Been driving Mr. Crazy, Mr. Mr. Crazy, Mr. Cairo <laughs> crazy for 15 years now, 13 years. Lorenzo driving in looking for Fernandez out of play. She could have taken that herself. Lorenzo's got a very, very quick release. <laughs> it's six nothing boxers. And this is Kristen Barrett. And very a travel good call. Colleen Lahiff into the game for the Cougars. So this is the third, fourth of five games in two weeks for the boxers. Last Friday night against Bridgewater Raynham. I don't know if you heard about this one. Wild game. 
40 fouls between the two teams. That's crazy. That's really crazy. The boxers had three called on them in the first minute and two seconds. I love when the refs just let us play. It's better than stopping every two seconds for little touchy, touchy That's fouls. How you get hurt, ref. And Coach Mike Barrett of Notre Dame not happy with a missed travel, or so he thinks a missed travel. Pache from the charity stripe, no good. Fernandez ripping down the rebound. Two minutes to go in the first quarter, and Alicia Fernandez spinning, fouled. Oh no, she's called for the travel. As Jade Wint comes in for Elizabeth Williams. Now Wint is in alone after coming up with the steal. Off the Ooh, glass, counted in, one. one for Jade Wintz. It's going to be reach against Kira Curtin. Wint good at the line, three points. Nine nothing boxers. Now yeah, three, no good. We're gonna call a foul on Montron. So it'll be three shots here for Maria Pichet. No good on her first attempt. Minute 32 to go in the first quarter. And Pache, one of three at the line. Rockton coming down with the rebound, and Alicia Fernandez to Lorenzo, who thought about the three, now sends it out to Montron. In for Rebecca Tannis, now Lorenzo, three, corner, no good. Fernandez grabbing the rebound. Back out to Montron. She sends in a three, no good. And Notre Dame grabbing this rebound. That was Lehef. One thing the boxers have been very, very good at this year is rebounding on both sides of the floor. Ref, what are you doing? Led, of course, by Fernandez and Ooh. Jade Wint. Wow. Wint three, no good. They have fouled a push. Called against Montrond, her second foul. And she will come off the floor in favor of Jayla Smith. Lorenzo replaced by Williams. Nine to one the score, 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Notre Dame fresh Ooh. possession, a good block by Tannis. But Jayla Smith can't hold on to it. Notre Dame grabs the loose ball. Smith is going to be called. Well, they're going to get Fernandez for the push. Shot clock is off, 22.7 to go. And at the line is Olivia Golly, who made her first attempt. One of two. At the line, Fernandez getting the rebound. Shot clock off, it's 9-2. Boxers on top of the Cougars. Fernandez to Wint, stopping and popping for two. No good, Fernandez grabbing the rebound off the glass and in. Buzzer sounds, the Cougars unable to get a shot off. It's 11-2 at the end of the first quarter. Alex, what'd you see in that first quarter? And 
What does Brockton have to do to keep their foot on the gas and run away with this one? It's a very good offensive rebounding by Annalicia and the boxers. And great, very great um, full court pressure by the boxers as well. So you're perhaps watching the game from a different perspective than you've had the opportunity to in the past. What's it like sitting courtside and trying to analyze what the boxers are doing and what the opponent's doing at the same time? Well, I always feel like that no matter what, defense is always the most important. So that's what I look at first. And and that's how it is in the games too. You see where the defense is, you see where the open spots are on the court and find those gaps and attack them. And I think that's what they, they need to start doing because I feel like they're taking a lot more outside shots when there are a lot of seams open in the, um, down, by the court, down by the basket. Yolani Montero back into the game for the boxers. She gets it into Jade Went, who sends it a little bit too long for Williams. Boxers have a big game here on Friday night against the Durfee Hilltoppers. I'll be there. And foul from behind is Golly. That game is for at least a share of the Big Three title. And the playoffs. And the and playoffs. The playoffs. Yep. Golly good on her first attempt. No good on her second. She's shooting 50% at the line, two of four. On the night, it's 11-3. Boxers, Jade went to Williams. Oh. Williams, bad angle shot. Right off the glass, no good. Cougars the other way, and another foul called. This is Grace Callow at the line. No good on her first attempt. Boxers coming in at five and eight on the year. Looking to kind of right the ship. Don't you have blow, don't you have. As they get ready for the playoffs they have now seven games remaining, including this one. Only three of which are at home. Williams nowhere to go with it. And it's taken by Golly. Tanitz is going to be called for the block. Fernandez is going to come back in. She will replace Rebecca Tannis. Notre Dame sending in subs one by one. 11 to 6 the score. And Kristen Barrett is at the line for. Find them! Find them! A shot and she converts that. 11 to 7 is Notre Dame. Is drawing a little bit closer. Call screens out. They're all illegal. Call screens. Help us. Help us. Went trying to create some space, and she's fouled by Olivia Gawley. So Jade Went at the line. Her second trip. Good on her first attempt. Jade Wynn, what I consider a center on this team is this one sent out of play. I consider Jade a center, very good shooting ability. I agree, yeah. Or power forward. Come 
Montero in for Fernandez, stolen by Golly off the glass and in. Good awareness there by Olivia Golly. Pick off the inbounds pass, 13 to nine. It's a four point lead for the boxers, Elizabeth Williams. Looking to extend that lead. Gives it to Fernandez. So you could tell she was about to shoot that three. <laughs> Gets her own rebound off the loose ball. And the shot, no good. That's going to be a reach on Neilani Montero. Annalie Lorenzo is going to come back into the game. On offense, they're so like clumped together that there's just defense everywhere you move. Barrett at the line once again. With that foul, Notre Dame is in a one-on-one -on -one bonus situation for the remainder of the first half. Down to a one possession lead for the Boxers. 13 to 11 your score, six minutes to go in the second quarter. Williams to Fernandez. Fernandez long to, is good. Wow. Bring it out, pull it stick it. Notre Dame swinging the ball, three for Pache, top of the key, no good. Williams grabs the rebound. Jade Wint able to acrobatically pull this one down, but she's called for the travel. This is Pache. Now three from the corner. Might have been blocked by Wint. Fernandez coming away with it, charging full head of steam. Oh. Off the glass, count it in, one for Fernandez. And Alicia Fernandez taking her first trip of the night to the charity stripe. We heard some oohs and ahs on that one. Definitely, she, she just can finish anywhere, anyhow. And is good on her free throw attempt. Fernandez now with nine of the boxers, 18 points. Pass it, pass it. Almost coming up with the steal. Very close. Let's go, double, double, let's go, double. Three is gonna go high and wide. Jade Wint grabbing the rebound. Now a scrum on the floor. I think a jump ball called and Brockton is going to take over. What'd you say? Oh. Fernandez. It's gonna be called for the push. Gotta start stepping the passes. They're jumping every passing lane. This is Ellie Hilsebeck. No good on her one attempt. Does not get the no, you second. Have. No, you have. You got ball. Ooh. Good thought. Brockton with a little triple teaming the ball no, carry. You gotta move. You gotta move. A bold strategy. Gotta move. Halfway through the second quarter, a long three off the rim, no good. Smith unable to grab the rebound. That's oh. gonna be a double dribble on Pache. Notre Dame 
employing a full court press. If you're the boxers, Alex, what are you doing to break that press and get the ball up court to one of your two top scorers, Wint or Fernandez? Oh, good pass. Um, I definitely clear out. Once you get the ball into someone that you know can dribble the ball, clear out so that there's no defenders congesting up the front court. Oh. Shot for shot. Pache no, hits one. Williams' wild shot finds its way out of bounds. Notre Dame's going to take over. I think that was a pass for Annalisia. It's 20 to 13, 316 to go in the second quarter. Brockton on top, looking to take game two of three home games this week. This is the back half of a back-to-back -back little Catholic swing back-to-back. Behan came in here last night, 60 to 50, uh, 63 to 50, excuse me, the final oh. score on that one. No look pass for Wint, and Fernandez fouled. It's gonna be a push called against Golly. Fernandez good on her first attempt. Oh, got her own rebound. Ooh. The perks of following your own shot, folks. Two in a row. One of our absolute favorite topics to talk about is the players, especially from three-point land, to take the shot and just stare at it like it's a piece of art. Piece of art. I, was, I was always told that you're supposed to hold your follow through. Supposed to follow your shot the second it leaves your hands and you follow through, you charge in to get your rebound. More often than not, if the shot's not going in, it's hitting the front of the rim and coming right back to you. Yeah. Well. And last year, um, and for my AAU coach, the point guard was always supposed to be the first one back, so. Lorenzo for three is good. And that puts the boxes up by 12, 25 to 13, 240 to go. Lorenzo has her first points on the night. And the boxers have proven to be in their best form when Lorenzo gets hot from the outside. Gets a couple of quick threes. You let Jade and Annalisa take over in the paint. Once she gets hot, there's no stopping middle, her. Middle, middle. We're going to get Annalisa for a reach. Her third foul. Before the game, we're talking to Coach Chris Connolly. We said, Coach, we were nice enough. We were thinking about you earlier. We wrote up some keys to the game. <laughs> After watching last night's performance against Fian, we said, first and foremost, your top scorer cannot foul out <laughs> with four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And with three fouls against her, Annalisa Fernandez is close to doing that with two and a half minutes in the second quarter remaining. Off 
offensive board for the Cougars of three is no good. Following the shot was Kristen Barrett. Gets her on rebound but can't hold on to it out of play. Off of the got. boxers, however. Look what you got. Short jumper good for Colleen Lehiff. Went long two oh. in and out. <laughs> Offensive foul called on Drosoma Montron. That is Montron's third personal. Now a double bonus situation for the Cougars. Williams is going to come in for Montron. So a couple of boxers in foul trouble, Alex. How do you not really control it, but draw the attention away from Fernandez and Montron to keep them from following out, but still be effective on the floor? That's one thing like you always have to worry about when you're in foul trouble is playing defense without reaching or getting in foul trouble and getting those blocks. But when you're on the floor, just keep your hands Keep your hands up and you'll be all fine. Williams from wow. way downtown is good. 28-17 and 11 point edge for the boxers with a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Ooh. Good take. Good work by Kristen Barrett driving no, baseline. She's got seven points on the night. Williams wow. driving inside. Right through the middle. Oh my God. No good. Grabs her own rebound. Montron. There's called for the travel. The refs giving a warning to head coach Mike Barrett. People get hurt. The ref thinking about a tech. It's always fun sitting next to the visitors <laughs> bench. Look up, look up. As you can hear move it, move it. a little bit, Coach Mike Barrett's Grace. speech to the ref. People get hurt, people get hurt bad. And the ref is getting more and more frustrated with the Cougars coach as time goes on. I definitely would be. Wish we had a mic on the ref, because he <laughs> said, you've got my attention, now sit down and shut it. Line up, too Shea. easy. Help Haley out, help her out. Two at two at the line. Williams in for Wint. In low for Tannis, who was followed from behind by Lahiff. Tannis at the line for a couple of shots. Ball ping-ponging around off a couple of arms. Notre Dame double, comes away with double, it. Double, let's go, double. Move, 30 double. seconds to go in the second quarter. 20 on the shot Keep clock moving. for Notre Dame. Keep moving. One more, you missed it. And Williams comes up with a steal. Williams running into Jade Wint. Now 15 seconds to go. Brockton's going to hold on. Take. Tannis tipping the rebound, and it's going to be a jump ball. Brockton is going to retain possession with seven on the clock. Today, 
Inbound pass stolen by Kristen Barrett. Gets to half court, she's gonna throw up a long three. It's going to fall well short. Buzzer Sounds, the first half has come to an end. It's 28 to 20. Brockton on top of Notre Dame. Alex, what'd you see in the second quarter? Brockton able to pull away a little bit, but Notre Dame's hanging in. Definitely a lot more fouls. Foul shots are like the easiest way to score, and I feel like they're just giving them too many opportunities. Um, they also scored 12 points, I mean 18 points that half, which is a lot. So Ana Alicia Fernandez leading the charge for the boxers with 12 points. Talk about her performance for Brockton tonight. Doing very good. I love how she like gets the hoop on her own, gets the foul, but she also needs to stop fouling herself. It's 28 to 20, Brockton on top of Notre Dame at halftime. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. So, I just moved in with his family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that, that's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming! We're going biking! Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe, how was school today? Hi, Dad, it was great. Okay, honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Get caught buzz driving and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Notre Dame Cougars and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my special broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, Tabor Academy freshman Alex Gennaros. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
It's 28 to 20, Brockton up by eight, coming into this second half. Leading the charge, Annalisa Fernandez, 17 points. Jade Wint, second in command with five. For the Cougars, Kristen Barrett with 10. As Notre Dame has started to get the ball movement going. It's off to Grace Fox. Five on the shot clock. Stop, pop, two, no good. Offensive board for Hilsebeck, who's called for the travel. Got a very fired up coach Mike Barrett for the Notre Dame Ac uh, Academy Cougars. We think it's very probable he winds up getting at least one technical this game. Oh. Jade went to Nelani Montero. A foul called on Barrett. 23. Haley Roberts comes out for the Cougars. Jade Wint able to grab it, send it to Williams. Williams to Montero, three, no good. Switching sides, making eye contact, and <laughs> laughing at each other. Oh. Got a playoff of Notre Dame. Have to grab more rebounds. Fernandez in for tennis. She's the one to watch. 17 of the boxers, 28 points, but also three personal Ooh. fouls. It's gonna be a five second violation against the boxers is Coach Connolly. Now, now there's a discussion whether Brockton got the timeout or not. <laughs> so it is gonna be a tom timeout boxers. And a uh, fired up coach Barrett for Notre Dame, not too pleased with the call. So wipe out the five seconds of timeout boxers. 6.19 to go in the third quarter. The ref still discussing whether it was the right call or not. I think it was, definitely. It's now a fresh chance to inbounds for Elizabeth Williams. Ooh. Jade went sliding down to the floor and <laughs> Williams going to throw it off of Crochet's legs out of play. That's she creativity if I've ever seen it. She wound up. She definitely didn't try to make it soft. She might do the same thing again. A football, Hail Mary, all the way for Jade Wint. Wint grabbing it, short ah. jumper is good. I love those passes. Ooh. Now Jayla Smith's gonna be called for a reach. It's only so much abuse that the referees are gonna take. The latest line, if this is on video, the referees can watch it. <laughs> Which is true, but they can't go back and change a travel call. And they're not gonna award Notre Dame three points. As Barrett hits a three. Get there, Grace, get there. Tonight. Barrett, 13 points now for the Cougars tonight. Jayla Smith down low for Williams. Post. 
Williams shot off the glass and in. Is going to take over. Fernandez trying to reach against Grace Fox. Fox's second foul. Every foul, I look over at the Notre Dame coach, see his reaction. Now a steal. And an unconverted layup for number three, Grace Callow. Ooh. On the other end, it's Fernandez up and in. 19 points now for Fernandez. So change hats for a second. You're a referee. Are you going to call more fouls on Notre Dame based on the coach's verbal abuse? No. You, have, you always have to call it fair, no matter what. But I also would be calling some of the things that the refs are calling, I also wouldn't be calling. I like would rather them play and have the game go smoothly than every five seconds there's a call. Time and it's out. not that they're not fouls, but. Timeout Notre Dame, it's 37 to 23. Brockton has opened it up here in the first four minutes of the third quarter. Stay tuned at the end of the third quarter as we did last night with Sonny Oak and Lola. Official Super Bowl predictions. So start thinking about it. All right. End of the third quarter, Super Bowl predictions with Alex Gennaros. Mine's already out there. I can, I can tell you mine, see if you agree or not. Pats by 10 to get even deeper. Gronk is scoring the second Patriots touchdown of the night. Very specific. And if somehow the Eagles win, it's Mr. Cairo's fault because he's going. <laughs> he's going? He's going. In the middle, up. He's pass, missing pass. the game of the century here at Staff Gymnasium. Pass. Pass. Number one ranked Brockton High against number two ranked Newton North. That's going to be a great game. Sunday, I believe 2 o'clock tip off. Right here. We will not have it for you on Brockton Community Access. Oh, Williams dribble, comes dribble. up with a steal. A <laughs> backcourt <laughs> violation? <laughs> They're going to call a backcourt violation when Williams was on her knees at the line and... Now, Coach <laughs> Barrett's the referee's friends. You're right. There absolutely was no backcourt violation there. And since we have it on video, the referees can watch it. <laughs> 17 on the shot clock for the Cougars. Tannis and Lorenzo coming back into the game for Brockton. Williams to Wint to Montero, back to Wint. Wint, three, oh. no good. Looked good. Did, it did, it did. Montero getting all ball on the Steal attempt now. Fernandez being assaulted by two Cougars and able to get it to Williams. Fernandez Ooh. calling for it down low. Gets it out to Montero. Her three, no good. And an 
an arm bar called against the boxers. Montero didn't know she was being subbed out. Show yourself, Colleen. Nobody scored in about two minutes. 37-23 in. You can't do that. <laughs> A push called against Rebecca Tennis for a second personal. Fourth against the boxers in this third quarter. That was Barrett getting between two boxers. Win three, no good. Tannis offensive board. And she airmailed the pass for Lorenzo. Two and a half to go in the third quarter. It's 37-25. Short jumper, no good. Two boxers fighting for it. Jump ball called. And Brockton's gonna take over. And three subs for the Cougars. Kaylee Roberts, Olivia Golly, and Pache all into the game for Notre Dame. Williams in for Fernandez. Lorenzo to win another three. This oh. one's good. One of three beyond the arc for Jade Wint. Golly down low is fouled by Tennis. Golly's at the line for a couple of shots. Airballing her first attempt. And the second one is good. Three of five at the line is Golly. Williams, oh. you gotta take that shot. Giving Fernandez go. able to convert. And another timeout by Notre Dame. 21 points on the night now for Annalicia Fernandez. The only boxer that is close is Jade Wint with 12. And with 139 remaining in the third quarter, it seems as though Fernandez has gotten her foul troubles under control. Yep. I feel like always the second half you always seem to get under control no matter what. You adjust to the refs. <laughs> Forty-two twenty-six. Boxers on top. Notre Dame with the ball. Pache in for Barrett. Barrett driving, loses it out of play. Lorenzo is limping, favoring her left leg. There was contact, but no call. As Barrett sends it out to Golly. Golly across for Pache. And now it is Colleen Lahiff. Long two, no good. Nicole Tavares coming down with the ball. Loose on the floor. 
And a timeout called by the boxers. I think it's a love-hate relationship between <laughs> Coach Barrett and, and the refs. These poor refs. I don't think it's love. Just hate. <laughs> 4126, the latest difference of opinions, we'll call it. <laughs> Coach Barrett says the ball was rolling. You don't have possession. You can't call a timeout. What he didn't see was Coach Connolly called a timeout while Brockton had possession, and then it started rolling. And now there's going to be a little conversation between ref and the coach of the Notre Dame Cougars. Listen, calm down. <laughs> Take a deep breath, coach. It's a game. There's bigger, more important things going on in this world. You don't have to get angry. Official warning. So an official warning to Coach Barrett. Next one's gonna be a technical. Excellent work by Tavares down low. Oh, Chapel. <laughs> it's a whole different perspective when you're so close to the visitor's bench. Especially here in those small little conversations. Lorenzo to Tavares. And Nicole Tavares lost it. Notre Dame takes over. 38.9 to go in the third quarter. 43-26 Brockton on top. And a foul against Lorenzo. Next one, they're in the bonus. Oh. This is Barrett. Cache now Lahif, short jumper, no good. Fernandez, another rebound. And Fernandez pass off the mark, picked off by Olivia Gawley. Barrett working her way inside, finds some space, fouled and on the way in. And Tavares called for the hit. Barrett at the line, the leading scorer for the Cougars, good on her first attempt. She's got 16 points now tonight for the Cougars. 10 seconds on the clock in the third quarter. And two of two. Now six of seven at the line for Barrett. Fernandez oh. creating space, two, no good. Rebound to the Cougars. They're gonna hold on, the buzzer sounds. The third quarter has come to an end. It is 43 to 28. Brockton up by 15 over the Notre Dame Academy Cougars. As promised, Super Bowl predictions. Alex, who you got? Patriots by a touchdown. Pats by a touchdown. You want to give a score? Um. Twenty-eight, twenty-one. 28-21, I like it. Sonny Okinlola said the Patriots are gonna win by a touchdown, but if it's a very close game, they're gonna win by four. Either way, he said the Patriots are gonna have 28 points. 28. So he said it's either gonna be 28-21 Pats, or it's gonna be 28-24 Pats. I say either 28-21 or 28. Yeah, I'd actually have to say the same. It must be a thing with Brockton boxers. I'm going 31-21, Pats. A 
Williams, they could have got her for travel there. Yeah. Did not pull the whistles. Wow, from A deep. deep three wow. and it's good. Nothing but net for Elizabeth Williams. It's gotta be the shoes. <laughs> Those are Jade's, Jade's shoes. Travel called against Fernandez. Oh, double dribble. A double dribble. Again, the second double dribble called against Annalisa Fernandez tonight. Boxers by 18, 46 28, your score. Pache to Haley Roberts. Now to Barrett. Barrett, three, no good. Jade Wint ripping the rebound, but it's gonna be a jump ball. It's gonna be a boxer ball. Williams in for Fernandez. That's Josoma Montron back to Fernandez. Oh. To Lorenzo, who's going to take a quick three. Instead, a bad angle shot off the side of the backboard. And the Cougars take over. Barrett down low for Pache. Can't control it out of play. Brockton ball. Lorenzo, three, good. For second three of the day. And those account for all of Lorenzo's points. Oh. Long three is good for Pache. Six points now for Pache. Fernandez down low is good. Twenty-three points. Jade went, did all she could do to draw the, the charge, and no whistle. Fifty-one to thirty-three. Brockton up by eighteen. Excellent work by Fernandez down low, moving without the ball. And the boxes are up by twenty. Loves that up fake. And the three for Lehif is good. Montron three, good. A long two, they're gonna say she was on the line. Haymaker for Haymaker here in the fourth quarter. Lehif, two, no good. Lorenzo grabbing the rebound. And a foul against the Cougars. It's going to go against Lehif for second personal. Fernandez, Lorenzo. Pump fake, now works her way inside. Bad angle shot, no good. Offensive foul. Her four. A push called against Fernandez, and that is indeed her fourth personal. And that is a one-on-one -on -one bonus situation for the Cougars. So now if you're the Cougars, the strategy's obvious. Do anything you can to draw the fifth foul against Fernandez to get her out of the game. She's got 25 points, by far the most of the boxers. What? 
Sosa Beck good on her first attempt. And two of two. Two of three overall on the night. Jayla Smith, Ooh. Neilani Montero getting ready to come back into the game and a foul gonna be called against Lorenzo. Went back into the game. Grace Fox into the game for Notre Dame Academy, replacing Lehiff. Hernandez grabbing the rebound, losing it. And a foul is called. Push called against Fox. Her third personal. Williams intercepted by Pache. Shot no good, somebody hit it out. It's gonna be off of Notre Dame. Halfway through the fourth quarter, 55 to 38. Brockton up big. Fernandez keeping her foot on the That's gas good. to Montero for three, it's good. And they're gonna oh, say her foot two. was on the line. Three, no good. And jump ball called. Jacqueline Kearns into the game, replacing Ellie Hilsebeck. Pache, three, good. Nine points now for Maria Piche. Montero to Williams. Williams driving inside, bad angle, no good. Jade Wint comes down with the uncontested rebound and she is fouled by any different number of Cougars. The official call on Kearns. Went chasing down the inbounds pass. Let me get off to Fernandez. I'm hearing the T word on the Notre Dame bench again. She's dribbling the ball, Ooh, it's not a travel. Williams to Fernandez, three Ooh. is good. Twenty-eight points now for Annalicia Fernandez. Pache to Roberts. Her three is good. Fernandez good. No look shot. And a foul is called on Williams. Good on her first attempt. <laughs> Smith and Fernandez come out. Fernandez favoring her left leg a little bit. Boxers up by 14. Now Wint. Williams to Jamari Johnson. 
And Johnson's fouled. Hit called against Kearns, her second personal. One fifty-four to go in the fourth quarter. Layla Depina in for Montero. One or two at the line is Johnson. Stepping out of bounds with it. Where's Notre Dame? Tennis in for Jade Wint. And if her and Fernandez are indeed done for the night, it'll be 28 points for Fernandez, 12 for Wint. And Fernandez is going to be called for a block. Uh, Williams, excuse me. Just breaking the action. I want to thank the cast and crew for tonight's festivities. And at the helm, our fearless leader, Paul Mandeville, directing the ship, award-winning director and producer. Next to him, graphics, audio, replay, Mike the Postman Simmons. Yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. Now up top, we've got the prolific cinematographer, Aaron Tebow, Katya Andra, Danny Steele. And you are, have been listening to the sultry sounds of myself, the Mad Dog, Matt Nelson, and Alex Gennaros. <laughs> Depina's called for the hold. 61-48, Brockton up by 13 a minute to go in the fourth quarter. Balashi is one of two at the line. Under a minute to go. Boxers up big. This will be the first three game sweep of the season. Freshman JV varsity all getting wins today. Jump ball called, Brockton takes over a 9.7 second difference between shot clock and game clock. Depina. Coming Friday too. So 61 to 49, the score. Busy weekend for BCA and Brockton High Athletics. Friday night, the Lady Boxers finished their three games in four days against the Durfee Hilltoppers to clinch a spot in the playoffs and a share of the big three divisional title. Saturday, it's boxer hockey, four o'clock tip off against St. Peter Marion. And Friday, uh, Sunday, excuse me, I'm going backwards. Sunday, highly anticipated matchup. It's the top ranked boys basketball team from Brockton High against the number two ranked team from Newton North right here at Staff Gymnasium. Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> 11 point edge for the boxers, 17 seconds left. 
So Alex, you've got one game ball to give to a player from each side. Got to keep it fair. Each side, who's got it and why? Um, Notre, Notre Dame Academy. Definitely give it to number 13. I definitely, I don't know her name, but Kristen definitely Kristen Barrett, 17 yeah. points. Uh, four of four from the field, as well as a three-pointer and six of seven at the line. Oh, for Brockton? It's going to be no question about yeah. it here. Anna. Anna it's going to be Annalicia Fernandez, 10 of 11 from two-point range, five of seven at the line, and one very big three-pointer. 28 points for Annalicia Fernandez. Six point one on the clock. Tannis is going to hand it to Williams. If they wanted to, they could call a five second violation here. They're not going to. Buzzer sounds in. The Boxers get the victory against Notre Dame, 63 to 50. Your final score. Alex, it all went right for the Boxers tonight. What'd you see? Great defense. Great play on both ends of the floor, definitely. And Alicia. Jade, Liz, from everyone. So everyone's looking at you. You've obviously got friends on yeah. this team. Strong performance, perhaps because they knew you were in attendance tonight? Gave them all good luck hugs before the game. So definitely. So 63-50, if you've got to pick one thing for the boxers to work on going into a big game Friday, what's it going to be against the Durfee Hilltoppers? Probably spacing on offense. That was, that was a big thing for them and less fouls, definitely because that's how they got most of their points on the free throw line, so. Annalicia Fernandez, your leader, 28 points, 17 on the other side for Kristen Barrett. 63 to 50, your final score. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, Alex Gennaros. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game. <laughs>